Hey, what's going on, Salt Strong? It's Justin. I'm out here today on this uh, beautiful November day. It's a little chilly out. As you can see, I'm still in my bib. And uh, this was a little bit of an experimentation day for me. Uh, personally, I'm not a huge gulp fan, but I was really intrigued with the new series of translucent gulp that we just added to our shop page. So it's a translucent gulp shrimp, three inch, and we added a couple different colors, uh, the Scooby and the Starry Night color. Now the Scooby color is kind of like a darkish brown back with like a pearlescent belly and the starry night color has the same pearlescent belly but it's more of a purplish bluish back color and in the big scheme of things color doesn't matter nearly as much as presentation we we have that established but i wanted to see how these translucent colors performed in the water so i wanted to get out here today and uh, test it on a couple redfish and see what the response was so here's my thought process for shrimp presentations shrimp do not want to be found they are really not a threatening prey. Uh, they're supposed to blend into their environment very well. And I think the biggest difference with a translucent gulp shrimp versus say a solid pearl or a new penny shrimp is that these are probably gonna blend into the environment a lot better. So in clear water situations or specifically tannic water or stained water situations where there's a lot of freshwater runoff, the scooby color and the starry night color probably work exceptionally well when the water is clear enough for these redfish to hunt down their prey and especially during the fall transition into the winter months when a lot of these when a lot of these redfish are tied up against the mangroves or the shoreline or marsh edges and they're stalking shrimp that are buried in the mud this is really what they're looking for and they're so hyper focused on finding something that's blending into their surroundings they're not looking for something that sticks out like a sore thumb because that's just not what shrimp do they do not want to be found and they do not want to get eaten so i was really curious to try out this translucent scooby color uh, in some stained water here over the past couple days and I've done pretty well on it. I spent a lot of my time standing up in the kayak sight fishing for redfish and I watch their behavior every single time I'm out and some days they're willing to pounce on everything, everything and other days they're just spooked by their own shadow. So any opportunity I have to better imitate a shrimp and allow for a little bit of light to pass through this body and help it blend in with the mud or its surroundings a little bit easier, I think will give that redfish some ease to come over and check it out because it's not sticking out like a sore thumb. It's just enough to get noticed. And then obviously the gulp scent uh, is what's gonna get them to commit because gulp scent is awesome and redfish and trout love to pounce on it. So when I'm working a gulp shrimp, I actually prefer to keep them on a jig head. And it's really so that I can stay closer to the bottom for a longer period of time. With a uh, like an owner weighted twist lock, you kind of have this wafting period where it's keeping the lure suspended and it doesn't sink down to the bottom super quickly. But for a gulp shrimp, and even for the power prime, if I'm not fishing in grass or heavy structure where I'm worried about snagging, I prefer to have a jig head so that I can stay as close to the bottom for as long as possible. And the reason is because, again, these shrimp don't wanna be noticed. They, they are trying to blend in with their environment. And once I'm on bottom with a jig head, it makes it really easy to just give a couple pops here out of, the, out of the mud or out of the sand. And those little puffs of sand, when you're fishing five feet or so off the edge of the mangrove shoreline, or could be a marsh edge. It's just enough to catch these redfish's attention. Again, the shrimp don't want to be noticed, but when a little bit of puff of sand happens in slightly tannic water or clear enough water to where these redfish can, you know, see the prey that they're looking for, they see something different, they'll come over and investigate. And with gulp shrimp, once they get kind of a whiff of that smell uh, that the gulp is known for, let's say a little bit bigger than a dinner plate size, they identify the puff of sand, they pick up on the smell, and they can hone in on it really, really easily. So with a jig head, I'm really not trying to work this lure back to me quickly at all. I'm just trying to give a couple pops vertically up off the mud or off the sand, stay in the strike zone as long as possible, go right back down, and then create another puff back in. As you can see here in a couple of these clips, I've done really well here on this Scooby color, this translucent color, sight fishing for redfish. And uh, these guys have been pretty picky. I've had a hard time getting them to eat a, a bunch of different lures, but I was able to seal the deal with this guy here over the past couple of days. And again, I think these translucent lures are gonna work to your advantage if you're fishing in slightly clear water or a little bit stained water, enough to where you can make out the lure and the fish that you're fishing for. In sight fishing scenarios where this is gonna blend in with the environment, but you can puff up the mud or the sand enough to draw attention to itself, I think this is gonna be a valuable tool to have in those scenarios. But if you're fishing in dirty water, while gulp shrimp still does work, I think that the solid pearl or new penny or something with a lot of contrast is gonna 
you know, stick out a lot more in those scenarios. If you guys want to pick up some of the uh, translucent gulp shrimp, we've added the Scooby and the Starry Night color to our shop page. It is a limited time color. We will not be adding these back into the shop. So once they are gone, they are gone. But if you guys are a part of our insider club, you know that you can earn up to 20% off of this lure, jig heads, and a whole bunch of other tackle for inshore anglers. And if you're new to Salt Strong, just know that we're the best inshore fishing club in America that teaches you how to catch more redfish, sea trout, snook, and flounder. There's nothing else like it, guys. We literally guarantee you're gonna catch more fish while saving time and money or your money back. We do this with our premium education, an exclusive insider community, and huge discounts on the best tackle for saltwater anglers. So to learn more, head over to saltstrong.com and we will see you in the insider family soon.